super excited to welcome Rajesh to the Kidney Kitchen today. Welcome to the kitchen. Pleasure, my pleasure to be Thank here. Thank you for coming by and tell us a little bit about the dish and a bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm a transplant surgeon working at Bart's Health and Just Trust in London and a novice chef, I might add. We're going to cook almond chicken, which is a recipe from my mother-in-law. Wow. So I have to ever do a good job of no it. No pressure then. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And it's smelling nicely, isn't it? It so, looks and smells great already. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to cooking it. Okay, so I'm going to take one teaspoon of butter and melt it right on the hat pan, which is preheated, and put in the finely chopped onion into the melted butter. And just wait for them to brown. And then take the finely chopped ginger and garlic, add them into it, into the onion, which is cooking nicely. And then add the diced carrots into it and just mix them together. So then you mix your ground cumin chili powder, which all put them together. And then mix them together and let them cook for about 10 minutes. This is smelling very nice. You know, it's all coming together nicely. So now I'm going to mix the, bit of the almond, almond, grounded almond with some hot water. Please remember it's hot water because otherwise it doesn't form a good soft paste. And just make a nice paste. Okay, so there's the prepared almond paste. We're just adding it to the the nicely cooking onion, carrot, and the spices. And mix them together. And if you need to, if it starts sticking, you can add some hot water as well. Wow, well, you can see that it's all coming together nicely. So now we add the chicken and just brown the meat. And once it's all nicely spread out and co started cooking, then reduce the heat and cook for about 10 minutes. So this rice has been soaking in cold water and then now we're going to rinse it. Now you don't need to know the shape, you can just rinse it straight away. But when you soak, if you soak it in cold water, then wait for the water to become a bit cloudier before you start rinsing. And here really you rinse it until the water water's coming out becomes clearer. So now I'm going to add the rinsed rice into the boiling water. And then let the rice start cooking. So once the chicken is cooked through and also you can see the whole sauce is coming nice and sandy color, add peas to into the pan and just mix them and cook for about five minutes for it to be ready. And just take a couple of spoons into the rice. And garnish it with some chopped coriander. We've got Angeline with us today in the kitchen. Angeline, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Hello. Yeah, that's what we've cooked today. Oh, look at that. It looks wonderful. Thank you very much for joining no, us in the Kidney Kitchen. So we've got some chicken and lots of herbs and spices. Yeah. So we've got garlic, ginger, cumin, coriander, lots of flavours coming through. No mm. salt added. No salt, no salt. Chili. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get some of these vegetables on here as well. Yeah. Oh, that's your own dish. Mm. Yeah, I know. I'm a little bit nervous, <laughs> but I'm excited as well. Oh, it's lovely. It's really nice. It's, it's, it's mild as well, isn't it? Mm. I think it's the almonds as well that makes it just that All little bit milder. All the way milder. through. Yeah. yeah. All the way Absolutely through. Absolutely yeah. delicious. Really yeah. nice. So this is a family recipe? Yeah, it is. It is from my mother-in-law. And um, it, it sort of adds the things what we will have at home. Yeah. Easier to cook as well. Doesn't take much time. And as I was saying earlier, for an obvious chef like me, I can prepare this as well. 
Yeah. yeah. That's great, isn't it? And we've used carrots and peas here today, but we mm. were talking earlier about different vegetables that you might use at home. Yeah. And you can so. use French beans, aubergine, cauliflower, you can add them as well, yeah. based upon the salt, what one is allowed. Yeah. So yeah, abs you're absolutely right. So this at the moment is low in potassium, phosphate and, and salt, and it's a great source of protein. So anybody that's having dialysis, for yeah. example, what a great dish, and you yeah. can make this um, uh, in a larger batch and yeah. freeze some of it. So it's an instant meal for when you get home from an exhausting day with dialysis. Exactly, that's, yeah. that's a very key, because yeah. when a person is on dialysis, they come home, they can be tired, exhausted yeah. at times. Absolutely. So it's a perfect just to put it into portion, keep it in prepared boxes, so they can come home, have a very good healthy meal yes. in their dietary restrictions, yeah. and have that and relax. Yeah, yeah. totally. Really yeah. What do you, yeah. <laughs> really so if somebody at home wanted to change the vegetables in this one, I would suggest going for the peas and the carrots and the cauliflower or the green beans to keep the potassium low. Yeah. If potassium is not a problem, then of course you could go for something like aubergine yeah. or spinach as well. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. No, it's, it's, it's been a joy. Thanks, thanks very much. Thank Bob. you very much. Yeah.